Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Coming up on August 1st, the Children's Health Council and Parents Education Network will come together in a very important partnership. It will help children and families affected with learning differences in the Bay Area. And here to tell us more about this influential cause is Cindy Lopez and Liza Benningson. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, us. thank you. Okay, so Cindy, let's start with you. Tell me about CHC and Penn. We'll just call them that for short, right? Yeah, Tell me how that came together, how those two agencies were able to join forces. Yeah. So CHC has been serving families on the peninsula in Palo Alto um, for about 65 years. So it's a nonprofit. Um, and we have four areas of expertise, which is learning differences, ADHD, autism, anxiety, and depression. So we really support kids and their families. Um, we operate two schools. Um, we have a robust community education division and also a clinic. So our, we're able to offer um, lots of great programs for kids and families. So in our community education, parent education, teacher education, um, we have an IOP, an intensive outpatient program for, te for teens. Mm -hmm. um, and then with Penn, Penn started in 2003 with really a grassroots organization with parents um, of kids with learning challenges. So their goal was really to create a model of parents and educators coming together mm -hmm. um, to support kids and really focusing on strengths and self-advocacy for kids. And their programs include um, they have parent support groups, they have teen groups, and then they also do a conference called Education Revolution or EdRev, which is here at AT&T Park sure. every spring. So this partnership is really important for a lot of families out there. Can you share a particular story of a child or a family that's been affected by this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so CHC, as, as Cindy mentioned, operates two schools. One is for students with learning differences and attention challenges. Um, Cindy was actually the founder and, um, and head for a, a long time of the Sand Hill School. Um, and kids come there that literally have never learned to love learning. Um, they, uh, one child in particular with ADHD and learning differences came to us. Um, he had hated school from kindergarten to third grade. He would cry himself to sleep every night talking about how stupid he was and um, have to be dragged out of bed in the morning to go to school. And he came to Sand Hill and found teachers who believed in him and who held him to really high expectations and never let him um, give up on himself. Mm -hmm. And he um, learned tools and strategies to just love being in the classroom. Um, and after two years, he was able to then move to a mainstream school where he thrived academically and in the arts and athletically and so it's a really transformational school not only for the, the student but for the entire family. Yeah that is a great story to share. What advice do you have for parents of children with a learning difference or ADHD because it's not it not only affects the child it also affects the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think that it, as a parent if you have a feeling that something's off that something's not quite right or your child you see your child struggling with school and learning um, to pay attention to that. Um, and there are, you know, don't give up. There's lots of resources. You're not alone. Um, and at CHC and now with Penn together, we have some amazing services to really support kids and families. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, excuse oh, me. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> um, CHC offers mental health services as well. And oftentimes there are um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mental health challenges that come along with learning differences and attention differences. So um, it's nice to have both of these programs coming together to, to be able to scale our programs, reach more kids and families, and provide that mental health support as well. And you were talking about that young boy who just couldn't thrive at the other school. Do most schools not have programs that help kids with learning disabilities? Yeah. So most schools, most what you would call mainstream schools, schools, um, they don't have teachers who really are especially trained um, for kids struggling with learning differences such as dyslexia. Um, so a school like Sand Hill, um, in addition to teachers who are especially trained, we also small class sizes with a really sure. personalized focus on learning. Yeah, so this partnership is really important. Thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. And to find out all that the Children's Health Council has to offer, just log on to chconline.org. And you're going to want to stick around for our next guest. It is a great event in the Bay Area. We'll be right back.